So today's video was actually meant to be me improving the Mandalore Ambush Battle Pack. So that will be coming tomorrow. And I also got a little bit distracted and started building this really awesome shape with the brick separators. But instead, today we're going to be looking at the magazines. Now, that's right, I said magazines, plural, because not only do we have the Lego Star Wars magazine, but we also have the Lego Minecraft magazine. Honestly, I think this is one of the best polybag builds we've got in the Lego Minecraft magazine. And we'll get to that in a minute, but we'll go over Star Wars first and we actually get two builds. So these are the two covers of the magazines. We'll get into posters as well later because both of them have some really cool posters. But for the Star Wars magazine, we get the 501st Specialist. We will take a look at them in a second. I have built them. I'm not stocking up on any of these to try and sell on later, I think. Most people can get their hands on them, and even if you're not in the UK or Europe, chances are you can pick up these figures for cheaper than £6.99 or whatever that converts to in your currency. They are usually a bit closer to this £5.50 and thereabouts, but that's still quite pricey for a minifigure considering for about £7, which is what this magazine cost me, instead of getting one minifigure, I can get three on the build a minifigure wall. You can literally get three space minifigures. You can see I have got the torso and legs for the middle guy and everything but the printed torso for the alien over here. I'm going to go back to a Lego store on or around July 1st and just hope that they have the torso in stock because Brick Owl don't yet have it. Well, at least not as of last time I checked and Brick Link have no entries for anyone selling it. So unless I want to pick up the whole pack of three of these online, I can't really find a way to get the torso. But the Minecraft magazine did come with a charged creeper. This was, it was quite a rare minifigure. I think it's only come in one or two sets and one of them is at least pretty, pretty pricey. It's one of the most expensive Minecraft sets that we've got and it's really cool to get my hands on it for, as I said, only £5.50. Now, as well as the Charge Creeper, we do get a new minifigure. And I know I said we'll look at the Minecraft magazine in a minute. We'll look at the interior in a minute. But the actual minifigure that it comes with is also pretty cool. They're in these orange robes with some gold accents. And they also come with a stone sword, which is nice that they're coming with an accessory. We get no spare pieces in any of these three poly bags, which I'll get onto in a second. But this Charge Creeper is really, really cool. The only exclusive piece here is the head of the Charge Creeper. So if you wanna make this yourself, these blue one by one cheese slopes, pretty common there. Probably even on the pad wall at certain points if you're lucky enough, but this head is really, really cool. It's a translucent blue square, same size as like Steve and all the other Minecraft heads but it's just really cool to finally own a charged creeper. And the build did also come with this nice TNT launcher, which actually works. It fires it quite far, and as you can see, that is now lost forever down the gap of the desk. But I really like that. It's a really nice play feature, and I'd love to get some larger projectiles over in the Star Wars theme with that. It just works best for Minecraft. As I've said, we did get the officer, but we also got a bonus build. You can see at the top there, plus bonus Lego toy. And the bonus toy we got with this magazine in Morrison's in the UK is the Lego Y-Wing. This is actually a build from last year and I have already built this. I've built all of the builds last year and actually reviewed them in a yearly magazine video, which I'll probably do again this year. We'll see what other minifigures and that we get in the Star Wars magazine. A lot of them have been quite common builds, but I have picked up the Imperial Shuttle from last month. This is the June UK magazine. So I believe Europe actually got this a few weeks ago in May and this month they are getting what we are getting next time, which, you know what, we'll take a look at in a second. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You can see I've put the specialist on the back of the Y-Wing and this might remind you of a certain micro fighter that we've got recently. And that is exactly why I did it, you can see. We've got a second Rex Y-Wing for only £7. What a deal. Obviously, it looks a little different to it. But to be fair, if we could fill out the back bit there and change the colour of these front bits to blue, which isn't too hard a fix, that's actually quite a nice one. So I have this gimbal to help me. I don't think I've shown this off on the channel. 
to help it just smooth out my recording when I'm recording because I have a very shaky hand as you can see on screen. I'll try and show you about any of the effects that I put on it afterwards but it has just died, completely forgot to charge it yesterday. I do apologize if the camera work is a bit more shaky than usual, but I will try and continue with the video and not get any more distracted. In regards to the spare pieces or lack thereof in these poly bags, you can see none of these three poly bags have spare pieces. So it's something that again, I probably should have realized before picking up this magazine. I was really intrigued to see if we did get two macro binoculars, it's really the main reason I picked it up day one, so that I could let you know either way it flips. And turns out you only get one pair of binoculars in the poly bag. You can see what you get on the poly bag is what you get in the poly bag. I mean, it's as simple as that. There's no trickery from Lego. You don't get any spare pieces, even in the wire wing. We get a bunch of different stud pieces and different one by one elements that you'd expect to get a spare or the cheese slopes on the lightning charged creeper the supercharged creeper sorry and none of these have any spare pieces which is a little shocking i'm not quite sure when they decided to do this because i definitely remember getting some spare pieces from lego poly bags but the y-wing is a build from last year unless they've repackaged it it does have special edition on the side which I'm pretty sure it didn't last year. So maybe this is a repackaged Y-Wing. You have to let me know down in the comments, but we don't get spare pieces anymore, which is a game changer for poly bags because I know my fiance has been getting quite a few of the Minecraft magazines and at least twice now, she's missed a vital element like a sword. So the poly bags aren't perfect. And whilst Lego have an amazing customer service, we were talking about how bad Meta's is. Lego's is... Well, you just can't beat Legos. You contact them to say a piece is missing and they ship it out. I think they say it takes up to 28 days. It's there by the end of the week. As far as we have seen with missing pieces, they ship it out even over Christmas. I'm pretty sure the piece that I was missing in my Christmas Lego set, I got by New Year. So Lego customer service is amazing, but you would expect at least a spare piece in these bags. Perhaps all the problems they've had with missing pieces are actually in the bigger, as I said, the Minecraft one was a sword, and I think one of the longer parts of the Enderman that we were missing in back-to-back -back magazines. So perhaps the problem's with the bigger pieces, and they've decided that it's just not worth putting extra little pieces in, only for some of the bigger sets where problems are more likely to occur. I guess a lot of the time, some of these pieces are only one or two pieces, and I think the machines can tell between nothing and a piece. Just that subtle change of weight. It's only when there's 30 of a piece that it becomes almost impossible to tell if you have one more one less so maybe that is a smart business move on lego it's going to save them quite a bit of plastic it's also going to save some of my smaller part drawers that are really getting filled up quite quickly so let me know what you think about this and if you've got any magazines recently perhaps some other ones like ninjago if they've had any spare pieces or if you've been collecting magazines for a while and this has just always been the case. It's really nice to be getting another officer in the magazine because, I mean, another specialist. It's really nice to be getting another specialist in the magazine because, as you can see, I have used one for the 332nd specialist. Actually, quick update on this display. I have added Dogma to it just here in the white hexagon, which has pushed Rex up above everyone else and left that central hole for the only official Lego clone that I'm missing, the 212 Airborne. But the officers, we only really need one of per side, and we do get two heavies in the set. I was talking to someone about this in the comments, and I also mentioned it on, I think it was Discord, and on my Instagram review where I spoke about the magazine. It's just a bunch of text not really worth going over to read because I've summed it up in this video, but we get two heavies, we get a specialist, and now we get a second specialist in this magazine, which fills the gap. I'd have been a bit disappointed if they whacked the officer in. We get another chance to get in some more macro binoculars, and though I was expecting two, even one of them is really nice to pick up because now that we've got Rex, we've got Fives, and I've made a custom Dogma, I'm getting much more closer to an Umbaran mock, so stay tuned and there'll probably be at least a diorama coming very, very soon. So I was just quickly taking a look to see where that TNT block went and it actually fell into my bundle of minifigures. And I got a question 
I can't remember who it was or what video it was on, how I store all of my minifigures. And yes, this is how I store all my other minifigures. We have a few that I've just built on the top here, but for the most part, they're in Ziploc bags and they're stored in the giant Lego head, at least the ones that don't fit on my other displays. Now we've got the Minecraft TNT block and we can continue with the video. The first posters we have in the magazines is this giant portrayal of General Grievous. That looks really, really nice with the colors used. And also this giant poster with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven axolotls on. Now, my fiance's favorite thing about Minecraft is definitely the axolotls, and she absolutely loves General Grievous. So I think these are gonna be taken by her and hung up on her side of the room, but these are amazing posters. Now, my favorite Star Wars poster is actually on the flip side. I think this looks amazing. I'm not too sure why the 25 years of Lego Star Wars is there. I don't know if it's because the battle pack that these clones were in had a bark speeder that related to an old Lego build and it's sort of tied in that way. There wasn't this logo on the box. There's no special minifigures that I'm aware of. Anakin and Kenobi will probably get for the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith next year. This UTS Veneta that appears one, two, three, four, five times on this poster. They're all versions of the UCS Veneta. They look absolutely identical. So they're probably renderings of the same image and then they've flipped them for the side. That came out last year. It wasn't 25 years. We do have, I can't tell if it's an updated face on this Revenge of the Sith Anakin, probably the same torso. And this is possibly taken from a render from the game anyway. And then we have Darth Vader. You can't really see the torso lights, but I'm pretty sure it's the same Return of the Jedi one we are used to seeing now. So I don't know what makes it 25 years of Lego Star Wars. There's Nothing exactly that's screaming out, but perhaps they just wanted to whack the logo on because that is this year and this poster came out this year. I might be looking too far into this, but the other side of the Minecraft poster for anyone that was wondering has dawn to dusk as a zombie burning and then it's got a baby zombie burning. You can't do that to a baby zombie. I don't know if baby zombies actually burn in Minecraft. I'd assume they do, but perhaps we need to get a helmet on it. But have actually used a jumper plate to sit the baby. And that's what I like about the Lego posters. They actually include the Lego bricks for the most part that are needed to, you know, sit the baby zombie in the middle. They could have just rendered it in the middle and perhaps lowered the flame for it to fit and have a piece that doesn't exist. But they've actually used Lego pieces that exist in the way that they exist. So let me know what your favorite posters are out of the Veneta and Grievous and the zombies and the axolotl. I've got to agree, the axolotl one looks really, really cool, especially with the Minecraft bubble effects that are around the axolotls and the player. I don't actually think we own that player in Minecraft, so it'd be an interesting one to get in next time's magazine, but of course, we will look at that right now. You've seen the polybags, you've seen the posters, but now what we get in next time in, well, you haven't seen the back cover. Look at these bookmarks, these are really cool. I'd be tempted to cut out and laminate the middle one to use, but bookmarks don't work as well when you read books on your phone. I don't really read any physical books to need bookmarks. I might just keep them around anyway in case I need them for like a Lego instruction or something later on. Next time, where is Sabine Wren? Is she safe? Is she all right? She's not here. And that is because I think I have made a grave mistake. So the image that I saw Sabine Wren coming in said, I think in Europe, the magazines tell you which month they're in and it said Julio as in July and I took that as June. I just saw a J and thought it said June instead of July. So I think Sabine for the UK will actually be coming in in August rather than July because we get the magazines a month later. But look at these designs for these Vader tins. The magazine's gonna come with a Darth Vader and a limited edition tin. The top one, I'll admit, I'm not too fond on if Sainsbury's has one, Morrison's has the other. I'll probably end up picking both up, but I really like this tin at the bottom. I think that would just be cool for, I guess, storing all my duplicates of Darth Vader. And the reason I'm picking up the next magazine is so that I can see that Sabine in the coming soon. I don't know if I'll make another video on it. I might do shorts on the magazine reviews because they seem to go down well. But as I had so much to say about these ones, 
I had to make a video and I think the tins are going to be really cool. So hopefully we see Sabine in the next time for the next episode. And I've only just realised we've got three UCS sets on the side here. We've got the Star Destroyer, which is quite old now. We've got the Venator from last year and the Falcon, which to be fair, the Falcon's probably as old as the Star Destroyer. I'm not quite sure when they both come out, but perhaps the Falcon's a little newer, obviously corresponding with their Rebellion, Republic and Imperial ranks on the other side. It'd be funny if they flipped it so that the Rebellion and Imperial were the wrong way around, but it does work out. On the back of the Minecraft magazine, we've actually got a cutout for Steve's head or Alex's head on the other side, which is really cool. But next time we're getting a Mooshroom, Steve... Steve's got some, are they some leather trousers? Are they meant to be leather? I don't really know. Maybe that is some copper armor that Lego have strayed from the path of vanilla Minecraft and created for their Lego version. But this Moombastic cow does look quite Moombastic. That's quite funny, actually. But I do already have enough Steves and we already own a Mooshroom, so I probably won't be picking this one up. I'm just very happy to have got that charged creeper. So I am sorry for anyone that was expecting Sabine in the UK next month. I guess if you're in Europe, you probably will be getting Sabine next month. So definitely let me know if you've already got the Vader magazine or if it comes out soon and you're watching this later on. Let me know if Sabine is in the next time because I really cannot wait to get my hands on that figure. We've got Ahsoka in the advent. There's really not much point picking up the T6. Yang isn't anything special. And Maroc, I'll probably just try and pick up off Brick out later on. But I really do like the Wire Wing and 501st combination. I definitely think they need to include some sort of build with the minifigures, especially if they're charging a £7. You can get a small city set for that almost. You can get two poly bags for that. So it makes sense to be giving us the two. And we also have some pretty cool comics. I've only read the Star Wars comics, but they are pretty fun with Grievous in there. And they also have a few different torso reuses, which is really interesting if you do pay attention to that. Obviously, it means nothing. It's just a fun little comic, but it's nice to see. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you are picking up the magazines. Let me know if you'd like to see some regular magazine reviews. I always said about picking up one of every magazine and dedicating a video a month. But with all the mocks we've been building recently, there's really not much time to get a video like this out. So do definitely drop a like if you'd like to see more or if you just genuinely would like to see more Lego content, it does help the channel. And subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, May the bricks be with you.